and usually, um, depending on how many electrodes I have in my, my pattern recognition classifier, it takes you know under five seconds for it to, to train the classifier, usually a lot faster than that. So I wait a few seconds, um, and then now it's under my control. So I'm moving the elbow on my own and um, moving the wrist on my own as well. Does it give any, any audible signal that it's finished training? Uh, right now it doesn't, um, but that, that um, a beep or something could be um, placed on it. So I guess so it's my hair still is messy, so I need to control. She has to do one motion at a time to get to where she wants to be. Yeah, she's picking up the table clock. That's all. <laughs> well, I can see myself. <laughs> <laughs> My hair looks okay. So we're all good. I'm using that proportional control so that my elbow just doesn't bang on the ground, um, on the table. I'm actually trying to set it down softly. Okay, so let's try an old favorite of taking the water bottle and pouring water into the glass. That's a bit risky. <laughs> and it's a little bit difficult. I don't have any shoulder control. Have him off the glass. <laughs> What's nice here is again, uh, a lot of people who have seen pattern recognition in years past have seen it kind of jerky motion. And with some of these smoothing techniques, you don't get that. She gets my control, she can open a little bit instead of blowing it open, and she doesn't get when she pours that a, a wrist extension or elbow extension. Uh, so she can do things a little more functional. We see that uh, in using this clinically, people are more confident.